Hello, today I will be showing you how to make Falcon, Bucky Barnes or the Winter Soldier and the new Captain America. I'll start with Bucky Barnes, then him, then Falcon. Uh, this is from Falcon and the Winter Soldier and yeah. For Bucky, you will, but probably don't or won't, need this spaghetti piece. You'll also need this dark brown piece, which is quite common, I think. I use it in lots of my custom minifigures. Then this headpiece, which is from one of the Lord of the Rings sets. You could either use Peter Quill's face or Professor Lupin's face, I think. Either of those would work. Kane and Jarrus's legs and Harry Potter's jumper piece with a gunmetal grey arm and a grey hand. And you assemble it like a normal minifigure and bam, we get Bucky. Now let's show you how to make the new Captain America. I didn't have a Captain America headpiece so this isn't the best one. But for his shield, you'll need one 3x3 three three red um, circular plate thingamajiggy. You'll also need a white 2x2 two two version. This little um, hand piece thingamajiggy. I know, I know, great at description. And then you can make the shield like that. I'll show you how to put it on his back later if you want to see that. Then you could use this dark blue helmet piece or you could use um, one of the Nexo Knight ones. This head which I got from a rebel crew person. A neck bracket with a stud on the back. A gun piece Preferably a pistol, seeing as that's what he uses. Superman's body with dark red arms and blue, dark blue hands. As you can see, it's just inverted, like so. And then these legs, which are from Owen person from Jurassic World, with a dark red hip joint. And you build it like so now if you want him holding the shield you can have it like this and just put the shield in his hand or if this is what I prefer if you want him to wear the shield you just put it onto the neck bracket and then BAM he's wearing it and there we have the new Captain America. And finally, the Falcon. Probably the most complicated of them all. You'll need Mr. E's legs from Ninjago. This black hairpiece from Finn. Or you could just use no hairpiece at all. Um, this head, which is from a First Order officer, I think. I couldn't find the correct one with his, like, beard thing so I had to use that. This Chima body with black arms and brown hands. Then you assemble it like so and then just like put that there. And then now I'll show you how to make the wings part. This is Mm, probably based off one of the Marvel Falcons, I think, I don't know. This black piece, with neck bracket piece, which came from a hidden side set. Um, the two of these ball joints, um, one by two ball joint pieces, two light grey, um, one by two. Let's just get the second ball joint piece. Then these two um, wing pieces, I guess you could call them. Then one 
If you have two of these, I'd recommend using two of these, but I don't, so I'm using one by one. So that's a red one by two tile. And then you just assemble it like so. Make sure that the dark grey pieces are being placed on the backpack, not the light grey pieces. Or at least that only matters if you're using, if you're having it faced like this. Which I'm going to do because I think it's more accurate, seeing as in the TV show it shows him having like grey outlinings on the wings. Then here we have the wings. Take it off. I know that this gold printing here isn't accurate, but I thought it looked nice, so yeah, I'm using it. If you want, you could also use pistols in his hands, because um, I remember him using pistols. I don't know what that's from, but I remember distinctly him using pistols. So, there, we have our final figure. Thanks for watching. Bye.